Hello, and welcome to Mary Ellen Katz Plays Stories Untold. Um, I know very little about this series, uh, truth be told, other than that it's uh, heavily story-based and a lot of me narrating what's happening. Um, th that's really all I know. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, the House Abandoned, Episode 1. <laughs> Are we going 80s? Are we getting 80s up in here? I'm feeling the 80s. Look at all this sweet tech. Mmm. Yes, drills also don't know why you're there. I swear I had this TV. Nice. Oh. Oh. Woo. That was murder to my ears. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park at the car. It's dark. But it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Oh, is this a text adventure? Yeah, looking like. Look in glove box. The glove box is closed, but appears to be unlocked. Open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Look at note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Oh, Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get the power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Neat. Look. Uh, oh, press enter to continue. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park at the car. It's dark. But it's, uh, yeah, we've, we've been here. Look at key. It's a key to the house. Cool. Exit car. You open the car and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Uh, look at door. The door appears to be locked. Hmm. Um, go to side. Take a walk around the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Cool. Look. Okay. Go back. You walk around the front of the house. Use key on door. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Unlock door. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Uh, turn on light. A click and nothing. There's no power. Oh, that's right. Power generator. Go around back. Where would you like to go? Generator. Okay. Uh, go side. You take a walk around the to the yard. The yard's been well maintained. Yeah, okay, cool. 
Um, so look around. You see a generator in the back of the wall of the house. Okay. Turn on generator. You switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. That's fine. Go front. Enter the house. Step inside the front door. Turn on the light. You flick the switch on, the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and the living room here, as well as the set of stairs going up. What? Hold on. So, is everything being done on in this screen? Like, do I not do anything with this? Okay, I guess not. There we go. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and the living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Enter living room. We step inside the living room. Spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good times here, playing board games with the family, warm and inviting. Look. Look around. There's nothing here of interest. Go to kitchen. Okay, go back. Walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There's a door to a utility room, but otherwise, it's just a kitchen. Open door. The utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. All right. Look around. It's very clean and tidy. Not used in a while. Open fridge. It better be empty. Uh, okay. Open. Cupboards. Drink the Kool Aid. Jump. Break dance. Fine. God, none of the fun. Hmm, go up the stairs then. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Take pictures. You like them where they are. The family all together. All right. Shout. Okay. Call. Damn. Uh, there's a bathroom and two bedrooms. Good, good. Enter bathroom. Step inside the bathroom. You're in the bathroom. There's not much to note, but it's all in good order. Okay. Um, use bathroom. We just got here, right? We gotta pee. I don't know what you're trying to use. Okay, sorry. Use toilet. Ha <laughs> ha. Fine. We're a dude. We can do this. Use sink. Dang. Okay. I guess this is uh, one dude that can't stand and be. Fine. Uh, exit bathroom. Enter my bedroom. Walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. <gasps> really? How long has this been sitting here? I thought you guys forgot. Oh. Shouldn't have. Uh, open. Gift. 
You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 28, 128K plus 2. It's been preserved so well in the attic and hopefully still works. Woohoo! Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. On your desk is a Futuro 128K plus 2 computer. Huh. That's what this says. 128K. I was gonna say that it's kind of the, the what we got going here. We've got we've got an old computer sitting on our desk and family photos. Huh. It's all still to be set up though. Uh, okay. Um. Oh, a copy of the house abandoned. That's wait. That's what we saw load up on this. Okay. Um, set up computer. Start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here, too. Hold on, hold on. I, I want to check out my sister's bedroom before we start dipping into crazy town here, because I, uh, I think I see where this is going. Exit edit. Oh, jeez. Exit bedroom. You step back out into the landing. Enter sister's room. Walk into your sister's old room. Your sister. Your sister's room is in the perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trap. <clears throat> Last time I'd seen her, huh? Look around. There's also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door is slightly ajar. Open. Wardrobe. No jump scares, please. It is empty, apart from the pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Look at photographs. They are all identical. A forest road at night. You put them back. That got me an achievement that you probably didn't see appear. That's okay. Close. Wardrobe. Okay. Um, let's look around again. Okay. Yeah. Get photos. They're all identical. Okay. You put them back. Exit room. Let's go into the crazy town with the computer. Uh, if... Hmm. Enter my bedroom. Your old room again. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here, too. Load game. Oh, uh, play game. You put the cassette into the computer and press play. Well, I done broke it. Uh, does that say get out? Okay, that kind of does. Interactive horror adventure? Oh, okay. Uh, Mom, Dad, what rating was this game when you purchased it again? Was the MSRB uh, a thing? You pull up in the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. What? You remember being told to check the glove box here before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Wait, what? 
for one, it didn't save my progress. For two, I think we just went into hard mode. Oh boy. Open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from your dad. You take both. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out of the car, get out, get out, get out, get out the car, get out, get out, get out. Get out. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home, park the car. Gee. This is like the Negaverse version. Get out. You force the warped car door to open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side, the wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Go around, side. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown, the weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around. There is an old generator next to you. Turn on generator. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Go around side. Go back. Go back to the front of the house. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. There is no love here. Use key door. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Use key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Oh no. My family. Their faces are scratched out. Enter house. Why are we here? What? It's black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Read notes. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Turn on light. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in the house. This can't be. Stop alarm. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent to the stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Read note. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. That's not normal. Discard note. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Drop note. Don't understand. Enter kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall and the utility room door that has a red X painted on it. Read wall. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. <sighs> Open door. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Look around. There seems to be writing on the wall in what looks like blood. Look at blood. 
open carcass. Look at carcass. You look closer, but you can't tell what it is or what it was. <sighs> Exit. You step back out in the hallway. Your shoes are wet. You're still in the hallway. Look at... No, no. Enter... Living room. You enter the living room. The living room. Although hardly an appropriate term. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Look around. Run down empty, abandoned, and for good reason. The note, always changing, now reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. <sighs> Exit. You return to the hallway. It's time. Go up stairs. You head up the stairs. They creak. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever's in there should not be there. You need to hang out the phone. I do. Whoever you consider the worst. Relief. Same but different. This is sister's room, your room, the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Look at pictures. The pictures are not, the pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Take pictures. You attempt to pull a photo out of the frame, but it tears and crumples as you do. Dust. Enter sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Pull off boards. Okay. Remove boards. Take wood. Go down. Read note. The note is now clean again. Simply reading. Get in. Get out. What happens if we meet ourselves? I have to know. I have to know. Enter my room. The door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. 1986. The lock clicks open. I have to know. I have to know. Go into my room. The room is closed. Open door. You open the bedroom door. Go in. Go into my room. You enter your bedroom. 
The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of the computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Read note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punished me. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Exit game. This is where it has to end. Turn off game. The note is reacting. Get in the door. Get in the room. Get in. Do it. Go. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Is this what you want? Is this what you want out of me? You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. No, oh, please stop. It was all my fault. Say it. What did you do? What did I do? Fine. Fine. Time to take responsibility. It was my fault. Just say it. It was all my fault. Finally. Well, that was intense. For just a little text adventure? That was intense. I feel like there was something left undone. Guess we'll figure out next time.